Aha! That's what I forgot. I knew I forgot something. Hold on, let me turn it on. Boop. And then... Oh my god, it's... Shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ! Let me turn it down a little bit. Jesus fucking. There we go. No, it shouldn't be that. Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there we go. And then, hello everybody. No, let me do that. Press this goofy little button right here. Bam. Don't want that do its thing. What? <laughs> that was weird, but okay. <laughs> Hello, 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 everybody. Alright, cool. Bam. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and that is it. Let me join that. There we go. Now I should be in a... nope? Alright, cool. <laughs> boom, boom. There we go. professional at all I'm, I'm getting i'm getting there though i'm getting there but it's still taking me a minute to like get everything situated and all that you know <laughs> but yes hello everybody welcome to the stream uh oh look it's a cutie oh welcome <laughs> hello welcome thank you for the compliment <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> Wake up, Samurai! <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, we're in another world because I want to try something different. But let's see. I have my full body on and I will calibrate. Hiya! Now, you can see my leggies. Well, now you, now you can see my leggy. <laughs> Hello. Uh, let me fly. Turn it a little bit over there. Yeah, that's a good. That's good. Cool. Bam. There you go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Very happy to stream again. I haven't streamed. I, I, I'm gonna talk about it in a second. I keep stepping on my cord and it keeps hurting me. Oh, that's weird because it's not behind me, it's in front of me. Get back there, motherfucker. There you go. There. Now my feet won't be in pain every time I try to try to talk to y'all. <laughs> there we go. Alright, cool. The pillow, it's the bane of my existence right now, but fuck it. Two days until my tattoo. Hey, that's fucking exciting. Hey. <laughs> that's really exciting. What kind of tattoo are you getting? I don't remember. Um, there we go. Oh, ooh. 
<laughs> I'm like navigating with my head because it is flipped. Wait, is it flipped on the other side? It is not. That's weird. Let me flip it on my side too then. There we go. There we go. Now everything's right in the world. <laughs> now it actually looks like I am a professional and not a noob. Because me personally, I couldn't be a noob. Oh, that... I didn't realize that that uh, was above my head right there. <laughs> That's the queen. Just, just got back from library. Sorry I'm late. No, you're fine. You're fine. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back. I'm really happy to see you. <laughs> uh, what boop. There we go, and then turn this off because I'm a professional. Let me move this out of the way real quick. <laughs> but yes, welcome back to the stream. Hey, let's go. We got three people in there watching. It's fucking great. Love you guys so much for that. Y'all are gonna get a little bit of ass real quick. <laughs> As a present, I will show ass. <laughs> Back in the trash, back where it belongs. In the fucking trash. Is that good? I think that's good. I think that's good. I'm gonna put it on. Fuck it. We're gonna put it right there. Eh. 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 There we go. Heck yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> now it is out of my face <laughs> move back a little bit cause fuck it I guess bang on there we go why is chat over am I tripping did I move I moved y'all out the way like that I moved y'all over there I don't remember that y'all used to be over there what the hell uh let's see how are you I'm doing pretty good actually I'm gonna what the fuck was that I don't have a jump button. Oh, it's this fucking loofah or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> Bam. But yeah, well, hey, well, I'm doing great actually. And everything is just so good. It's so good. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it in a second here, but I am very excited to talk about what I have to talk about. Well, I have to get going. I have the i have to prep food for tomorrow love you bye love you thank you for coming by the stream i really do appreciate you coming by and all that good stuff thank you <laughs> oh also i uh i also wait oh also try getting a vr tool called vr toolkit it's really useful for vr streamers and overall vr use even if you're not a streamer Hey, I have good news for you. I am using that right now. <laughs> so thank and plus thank you for telling me that. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, I've been I've always been using VR Toolkit ever since before I even started streaming VR chat. Uh, I I used it just for regular VR chat stuff. Well, I think uh, I think I bought it when I realized that I was gonna start streaming VR chat more. So I guess like somewhere when I started streaming VR chat, I got VR toolkit, which is pretty interesting to think about actually. <laughs> I forgot about that whole ordeal. I was just like, man, how the fuck am I gonna do all this and be in a headset and not be able to see my stream or chat? But I have y'all right here. Y'all are right here, like right there. You can't see it in stream, but I can see it right there. And y'all are just, y'all are beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, it's, 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 it's I, I thank you for telling me. <laughs> Even if I didn't have it, I appreciate it. I always appreciate it. Uh, glad to hear you already have, have it. It's a great tool, hell yeah. I imagine you're using it too, because that shit is fucking, Mm. even yeah like you said even without like just 
for streaming and all that it's good for like just watching youtube videos when somebody has a movie you don't want to watch on when you're playing vr chat or anything it don't even have to be just vr chat it can be like any other game like uh like what's that one game uh half-life alex or beat saber if you really want to but yeah it's it's pretty cool that you can use this wherever you want besides vr chat but i've used it hell of a lot in vr chat so it has a lot of hours in that department <laughs> oh oh shit there we go let me move that right there bam all right ooh, ooh. let's not play porn <laughs> I just hear, uh, and it's like, oh fuck, I gotta stop the stream. It's all bad. It's all bad. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Bam. And then, let's minimize that a little bit. And we are in the motherfucking clear. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. What do you say? Let me see. <laughs> My brother has bad back problems, and when he doesn't want to sit at his desk, he pops out his VR and uses OVR to use his desktop while laying down. Aww. Well, see, that's that's good. That is that is honestly very wholesome. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let me do that. All right. But yeah, that is very wholesome actually, and I'm glad OVR Toolkit can help him in that way because I know some people with back problems, and uh, it's it's a it's a handful to deal with. Not not me, but but for the people with the back problems, it's a hand. I know it's a handful for them to deal with, and it's just it's just ugh. It's like why? You want your back to be okay? Just gonna like fucking. <laughs> You never know, that move could fucking <laughs> put their back in, in motion. You never know what could happen. Oh, what the? Yeah. Cool. Alright. <laughs> we'll take it. Maybe need to be a little bit closer. Oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> what the? Where? Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh. <laughs> oh, actually, that's actually a pretty good camera angle. I, I like that. Hi. I do have eyeballs. You just you just gotta like look real underneath my hair. I have like very big eyes. <laughs> Very big eyelashes too. Like, look at those things. Holy shit! Holy. Oh, oh, excuse me. I might try one time in real life to actually like do the whole like makeup right here on the face. I might try that one time and see how I look. I don't know if I look cute though. I don't know. Look at my Twitter. I might. I might do it one day. You never know. Ah, <laughs> uh, boop. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, also, kind of random, but I am now doing my second Vroid model commission. Nice! Hand of applause. Round of applause. Uh, I put it in my... I put it in quotations because it's for a friend and it ain't getting paid. And it's a... It's a... Uh, it's a commission. A commission is having somebody, is you doing something. I think, I don't think it has anything to do with getting paid, but yeah, you got a commission. I, I'm proud of you. I'm still proud of you. <laughs> because not many people get a lot of commissions in VR anymore, or in VR, from VR chat anymore, as far as I can tell, because I don't know why, but... <laughs> I mean, at least everybody I know pretty much like stepped away from VR chat. I I still play VR chat here and there, only because I'm a dancer though. But other than that, I I don't see many of my friends on VR chat anymore. 
Who knows? I might make some new friends on VR chat. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't need. I, I personally don't need any more friends because I have too many as it is. But at the same time, I like I like meeting new people, and sometimes it's that's how I met my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i met a lot of good people I, I went online i was like damn okay let me go online and then i met him i met one of my close my my close friends and then i was like damn now we're now we're stuck together now you're stuck with me and i'm stuck with you <laughs> uh yeah i'm pretty skilled in viroid so my friends are usually pretty impressed with my work oh that's good i'm glad you got a talent you're talented <laughs> but yeah it's very good to have friends that'll support you and also you can help it's very good i love it uh yep met my best friend online now he's stuck with me and cannot leave that's how i feel high five girl <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> but yeah i am um, <laughs> i completely get that because i have a lot of friends that i don't want them to leave me either and they can't go anywhere if you're out there and you know who i'm talking to you know who you are and you can't leave all right <laughs> 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 but yeah <laughs> Mood Wolfie is stuck with me. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 the person I'm talking to, motherfucker. <laughs> me and Jessica have been friends for like, jeez, I'm 23 now, and I met him since I met her when I was fucking 16, 17. 16 17 me and just here have been friends for a while like they're the they're my longest running friend right now like i still talk to at least like i do have this other friend that i well i mean i don't know yeah just gesture is the uh, gesture gesture here <laughs> is just one is like top top of the leaderboard when it comes to like um being like the longest running friend because he is he is my longest running friend that i still talk to like i do i do have two others but they don't really talk to me like that anymore <laughs> i mean not for bad reasons uh, one of my friends they just don't talk to me anymore and my other friend uh we 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 talked we we did talk like a couple months ago but then we just stopped and it, it made me a little bit sad but you know you gotta move on you gotta keep trucking you gotta keep doing your own thing you know you know you miss them you gotta keep doing your own thing oh wow i i have been friends with my best friend for almost two years now but i hope we'll be good friends for as long as we can hey you keep up that attitude and you definitely can for sure i believe in stuff like that because holy crap that is something to like um that is something to very much cherish very much <laughs> they're lost yeah 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 i miss them though i miss them <laughs> I do, but like you said, they're lost, and we we, we could be good friends right now, but no, no. <laughs> I'm glad I have a friend like you, Gesture. And hey, I'm glad I have you too, uh, 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 Ella, Ella, Ella. I'm glad to have people like you too, Queen. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my brain is not working right now. Like, I'm not thinking at all. I'm just saying what my, I'm just saying, like, things. I don't know how to explain that. I'm just kind of doing talk things without using my brain. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah they're pronouncing my name right. Yeah, I'm pronouncing your name right. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's normal though. Yeah, that's very, yeah, that's very normal. I appreciate y'all being here, though. I really do. I love y'all so much. <laughs> oh, I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all have no idea. What kind of headset do you use? I... 
I don't know. Hold on. What in the fuck is this called? I don't know. My my computer headset, I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's definitely not like gaming. It's it, my 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 computer headset is more for like music and stuff instead of gaming. But my VR headset is a Quest 2. And drift on this bitch is getting worse and worse every single day because this controller right here, my left hand controller, I'm dyslexic, so it takes me a minute. I gotta like look at my fingers like that without actually having to do it because it's embarrassing. But anyways, <laughs> this hand, my left hand, is um is drifting a bit. Like it's very hard to move the stick as well. Like here, like in this hand, it's like oh, it's so free flowing. But this one, I have to like fight it to go to like left and right. It's not like it's not like er er er. It's more like a you can feel like the resistance in it. That's very weird. That's very, very strange. <laughs> I can't wait to get a quest 3, even though it's like getting- I swear the quests- the quests is just getting more and more expensive with every entry. Like the quest 1 was cheap, quest 2 is cheap, quest 3 is up there, you know? It's- it's- it's marketing, I guess. Inflation and all that good stuff. Uh, blah, Friendly's not here yet. Cool beans, welcome back, Rai Rai. My brother fixed his Rift S drift and now it's wonderful. I I don't know how you would fix this drift. I know rubbing alcohol is a good like is a good thing to use, but I don't have rubbing alcohol, but I do have lubricate. I do have lube like com like for computers. And I don't know if I can use it on this. I got to do my research cuz that's my first time actually thinking about that. I'm gonna put that in my notes. I'm actually gonna put that in my notes. Where's my phone? <laughs> there you are, you fuck. You fucking phone, you phone fuck. Because I know if I put it in my notes on my computer, I'm never gonna look at it. And I have specific notes in my phone that I always look at sometimes. Let's see. Loop up. Quest to controller. There we go. And now I can just leave that there. Itch my nose real quick and put on my headset. <laughs> Ooh, adjust my shit a little bit. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, Quest is definitely overpriced. It's. I mean. I don't know anymore what what headset is overpriced because I I haven't done my research like I usually do when it comes to like technology because I'm I I don't know I don't have a I don't have a job right now I'm pretty unemployed so it's like even if I do get a quest if, if I think about getting a quest right now I can't get one you know what I mean <laughs> I usually do my research on things when I know I can get that thing which is pretty cool. I, th I think that's a good mindset to have, but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, oh, you're not supposed to be able to fix drift. My brother had a, had to bust open the controller and now it half broke. Oh, geez. I am so sorry. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's it drift is a drift drift is a bitch. Drift is a bitch. <laughs> like, I haven't even had my PlayStation Five controller for that long. I think I had it for like. Have I had my controller for a year? God damn! I think I had my con my PS Five controller for like a year, and it's already getting drift. And I had my PS Four controller for like. I say five four years and it didn't have drift until like year three which is pretty interesting i don't know what kind of market i don't know what kind of marketing strat they're trying to put with it but i swear to god i'm gonna find out one way or another <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i don't know i don't know if companies do it on purpose i don't know if they do it on accident but they need it fixed god damn it because i'm sick of these Sick of these fucking controller drifts. I'm sick of them. Sick of them. <laughs> Every single bit. 
do that. There we go. Ooh. But speaking of being sick of things, I have access to a certain game now because a certain friend bought it for me. A certain friend, I will shout them out, Riley. Riley bought me Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and I don't know what everybody's problem is about it. I know everybody says Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 sucks. It's a 60, it's a $70 DLC. It, it, it's ass. Like, I, I, I can't say anything until I put my hands on it. And I've played it for... Let me see how long I've played this game for before I give y'all misinformation. Because I do not want to do that. I've been playing this game for 10 hours. Let me go back to my stream. There we go. I played the I played the game for 10 hours. I have a bit of a a, a bit of a reasoning around Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 now. And I mean, it's a it, it's pretty good. It has a lot of things going on with it to be $70, which it's it has multiplayer. It has it has ground war, it has invasion, it has zombies, it has it has a lot going on, and I can't see why it's seventy dollars now. If it was fifty dollars I think it should be around the age of sixty dollars, but that's because I'm used to that range when it comes to my video games. Uh I can't believe when I get a better VR headset that piece of trash will be mine. <laughs> I mean, hand-me-downs are worth it, you know? Maybe, who knows, maybe if if you have that moment in your life where you're like, oh shit, let me go get a job, and then you get a job, and then you work, and then you make money, and then you quit the job because you either didn't like it or whatever else happened, you can get them new controllers, you know? Even though the controllers are probably hella different. What the fuck is that? That's the laundry room. Okay, I thought somebody was just stomping around the house like crazy. <laughs> but yeah, maybe you can get some new controllers that way. Or you can make a, you can get a friend to give it to you if your friend is comfortable with that situation, you know? But yeah, uh, it, it, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is okay. It's it's fine. It's, it's, it's fun to me and personally Modern Warfare 3 because it's... It has zombies. I love PvE. PvE is my shit, alright? I hate PvP. I hate it with all my heart. Well, not with all my heart, but I hate it a lot. I hate I hate it a bit. Like, the only time you'll catch me playing PvP is with Call of Duty, because Destiny 2 has PvP, and it's just... God. Why? <laughs> uh, what else has PvP, though? Like... I don't know. I guess I guess Destiny 2 is very. I I don't like the PvP in Destiny 2 at all. But it, but Call of Duty PvP is pretty good. I love I love the P, I like I like the PvP in Call of Duty games. But I love PVE games like person versus environment games. I love those. That's why I love survival games so much. You didn't hear that voice crack. But yeah, <laughs> that's why I like survival games so much. And I just. Mmm. Mmm. Having Call of Duty, zombies, and Outbreak. Outbreak? I love Outbreak. Not a lot of people like Outbreak, but I love Outbreak. I love it. Ever since, I think, I think first time Outbreak actually got introduced was Cold War. And then it came to Modern Warfare 3, which I personally think was a good move. And... Also, I don't want any other Call of Duty games from here on out because I just don't like. I guess this this Call of Duty will just sustain me for a long time. Like, even if they make like an Advanced Warfare Two or Black Ops Six, I I'm done. I'm I'm just done now. Like, I don't want to play Call of Duty anymore. Like, these are the only Call of Duty games I'll play unless like a friend is like, hey. I want to play with you, and I won't, you don't have this Call of Duty. If I buy it for you, will you get it for me? And that is the only way I will get it, because I do not want to play any other Call of Duty games anymore. Like, I am all Call of duty out. I've been playing Call of Duty since the age of... Mm, 10? 11? 12? 
10, 11, or 12 years old, I've been playing Call of Duty. And I'm just, I'm just, oh, I don't want any more Call of Duties. And plus it has, it has PvE and PvP. Like, I am, I'm set. I'm set. I was set at Cold War, but now we're here. And I, I was like, oh shit, they got Modern Warfare 2. Okay, that's a game I never played before. Maybe it's like a remaster. And now I got Modern, Modern Warfare 3, which I'm like, oh shit, it's Modern Warfare 3. Like, my childhood game that I love so much. <laughs> And Black Ops 2. I'm not gonna buy Black Ops 2 2026 20, whenever it comes out or whatever. Because yeah, I had a lot of fun on that when I was a kid, but it it, it wasn't like Modern Warfare 3 was to me back in like 2016. Because it had spec ops. Modern Warfare 3 2016, I think it was had spec ops and i wish they brought spec ops back but i'm glad that they still get the pve element in modern warfare 3 for like the zombie mode i'm glad they have that in there because i i, I don't know how i would feel about it. i don't know i don't know i miss spec ops i really do i played spec ops a little bit like last month on my um playstation and ah i missed it so much i missed it so much and i'm glad i i'm glad i uh, touched it i'm glad i played it <laughs> anywho yeah i love my big brother's hand-me-downs he takes good care of his things he builds me a pc out of a bunch of old e-ways hands me down hand-me-downs uh, hence why the computer has to run everything to extremely low graphics. Understandable. And I, I mean, if I had to, I'd probably give my sister a couple of, like, I, I, well, I wouldn't give her any of my shit because that's my shit. I'm a gamer, alright? I like my shit. I, I, you never know if something's gonna break. And then, like, if my quest 2 was to break tomorrow or today or right now, I have a quest one in my closet waiting for me and I can stream that way but I, I if, if I were to give like my family my stuff I would just buy it for them <laughs> like oh my sister wants a computer let me buy you a computer and it ain't nothing but five hundred dollars for like a like a 30 an RTX 3080 now so it's like <laughs> But it's it. I, I don't know. I I do hand me down things that aren't game related. I do more like I guess clothes. I guess I don't know. I never really hand me down anybody of my clothes. And it's I don't know. I I guess I don't really do hand me downs because you never know when you're gonna like break something. I'm always paranoid. I'm a paranoid fuck. <laughs> I'm very paranoid. 500 is a lot, lol. Should hand me down some stuff. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, me me being a good saver with the money, I don't see $500 being a lot of money, in my opinion. I, I don't know. The I guess the most I see being a lot of money is like... A thousand... Five hundred? Because even even when I think of just a thousand, it's not a lot of money. Oh, hold on. I will be right back. My mom's calling my name. Give me one second. I'll be back.
Ah. I am back, <laughs> but you cannot see me just yet. <laughs> Give me one second while I... Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, that's a headache. Hold on, let me recalibrate my shit real quick. Ugh, why do I look? Can I move this? There we go. Hold on. Welcome back, sweetie. Oh my god, you're so sweet. <laughs> my brother upgraded to it and gave me all oh, nice. Hold on, let me let me fix my shit before I actually like start talking again. But yeah, I'm. I'm back. My mom just wanted me to take the trash out, and I told her that I would. Or am I will? I will whenever I'm done streaming because, yeah, <laughs> I stream a lot. Yep, there we go. And also, I will be um looking at. I'll be looking through my streams and. I will be putting them on my main channel as well as my VODs channel. On my main channel, they'll be edited, and on my VODs channel, they will be raw footage. It will be raw footage. So I can't wait for that. That's only gonna be like two. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna hold on. Let me, let me fix my shit real quick. Boop. Can I. Okay, step, step. Step, step. Alright, cool. Let me do that. Bam! Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello everybody! How you doing? <laughs> but yes, I am back. And now I can actually put that away. Put that right there. Put that away. Do that. Bam! There we go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm back. Hello! Is my voice good? Alright, we're good. Is the music too loud? I don't know. I, I didn't even check that. I, I need to need to be more professional with my shit. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I, the music shouldn't be loud. That's the thing. And I'm still being paranoid about it. But you never know. Hello. Thank you for the welcome back. I really do appreciate it. Y'all make me feel at home. <laughs> I really do appreciate y'all's companies. 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 Plural. Alright, let me see real quick. Let me turn this down. And then turn this up. Damn, there's like damn near no latency. Holy fuck, that was quick. Oh yeah, I did edit some shit. Oh, that's true. Okay, so I did... Okay, so every... my... first of all, the music's okay. And my voice is okay. <laughs> the music is fine, stop worrying about it. Got you, baby girl. Got you. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'd I'd be a worry wart sometimes. Hey, hey, Katori, welcome, welcome to the stream, baby girl. <laughs> what did I come into? Everything. I mean, shit. <laughs> I just came back from my mom, and now I'm just like spouting shit. I don't even remember what we fucking talked about just a few seconds ago, but anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, I was worried about my music being fucky-wucky, and then she told me to chill. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm back. Mom told me to take out the trash. I'll do it later. We're here. <laughs> uh Pop stopped worrying. <laughs> oh, hey, hey now, I'm. I stopped worrying. Goddamn, <laughs> you cutie. <laughs> Love you, Katara. Uh, also random, but just bought a new Sailor Moon shirt on sale. Hey, that sounds cute as fuck. And I just put it on today. And at the library, I had picked up a bunch of manga. Or should I say manga? And probably look like a massive anime freak. <laughs> hey, there is nothing wrong with looking like an anime freak. What I learned during my past days of living, like, I say, let's see, through my 
five, six days of six years of living. <laughs> what I learned six years ago is what I should say. <laughs> what I learned six years ago is that nobody really cares about what you do. Nobody cares about what you wear. Nobody really cares. And unless it's like somebody that you care about, of course they're gonna care and they're gonna tell you. But strangers, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Which is something that I actually like. Uh, <laughs> I love you too. Nice. Don't ever say that again. Say what again? <laughs> what did I say? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't. I didn't. I uh, don't ever pronounce manga wrong. <laughs> manga wrong again. I really deal with the mom saying that wrong. Oof. I'm sorry. I know that fucking feeling. I think whatever you wear is awesome, but I'm. But I'm biased. Aw, oh, you fucking cutie. <laughs> I almost said the fatal word. S-I-M-P. S-I-M-P. <laughs> you can't say that on Twitch, and it's still weird to me. But I get you. You're not You're not an S-I-M-P at all, just yet. I'm just kidding with you. Man, my mom keeps calling my figures dolls, and I hate it. <laughs> what do you mean? Those are... Those blatant, blatant fucking dolls. What are you? <laughs> but yeah, I. That's that's. I mean, the 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 whole new generation. That's all I'm gonna say. That's just a whole new generation. <laughs> um, I'm going to actually do a little special thing real quick because that is weirding me the fuck out. No, my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to move my chat. Oh fuck, where is chat? There you are. I found y'all. Y'all trying to hide and shit. Eh. There we go. Bam. There. Now y'all can't fucking hide from me. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, um. I forgot that I edit my settings to be more, um, first of all, now I can stream in 1880p, which is very nice, very HD, I can stream in HD now, I'm streaming in HD, that's fucking great, and, um, another thing is when I say something, it's actually, like, real time, like, it's... Well, kind of real time. It's more like a three, two second delay of when I say something and it's out on the internet and y'all can see it, which is pretty cool because it used to be like a 10, a 10, 15 second delay, but I, I fixed it. I'm learning things and I'm making my streams better, guys. <laughs> oh God, I love, I love this whole streaming thing. I can talk to my people. I love it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Auto mod blocks the word degenerate. <laughs> Does it? Oof. Yeah, don't try that. I'm, I don't know. I I don't think I have. I'm not gonna say that. Anyway. <laughs> and it's funny. Well, with well without the backlash, but you know. You know I mean what, what? I mean fuck backlash. I don't give a fuck about what anybody thinks about me. Like, I, I'm personally not a racist, I'm not, I don't use slurs on my day-to-day -day account or vocabulary. I don't think S-I-M-P is a slur at all, like, if, it, it's, it, I think it's, I think of it as a funny word, personally. <laughs> if anybody were to call me that, I would laugh, personally. <laughs> but I know there's a lot of soft people out there, and I know that, Everybody knows different things, and nobody has the same mindset as Wolfie. But yeah. <laughs> you sound like... Huh? Wait. You sound like a 2010 movie theater now in HD. <laughs> now in HD. <laughs> I guess that's facts. That's facts. Like, I mean, I, I guess I understand the hype now. <laughs> Everything's in HD now instead of 720p. <laughs> Damn, do y'all remember, uh, what was it? Was it 114p or was it 144p? What was the lowest YouTube? 
like quality setting. I don't remember because it wasn't 2040. It definitely wasn't 2040. It was something under that. I think it was like, yeah, it was 14. It was 40. Was it 144? Damn, that was that's old. Man, I feel old. That was back in the day too. That was way back in the day. <laughs> Damn, I feel old. <laughs> I feel so damn old. <laughs> I don't think the S word is bad. I I don't know. Twitch is weird with their fucking shit. Me either. 144. I, although I'm also into being degraded. So I so if somebody called me it, I might just mo. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah, that is very true. You are into degradation, honey bun. Uh, Katori. Katori, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, Katori, I mean, I'm a degenerate. Katori is a degenerate. Pretty much if you hear me say, oh, that's my friend, they're a degenerate. <laughs> Don't even get me started on being old. <laughs> I keep forgetting you're older than me, Katori. You feel like, it feels like you're like 21. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> hey yo. I didn't know you could reply to other people's comments. That's pretty cool. And eh, please, I'm honestly about my I'm honest about my degeneracy. Yes, she is not nah, 27. Yeah. It's weird though. Like I don't think you don't have a 27 I don't know what a 27 mindset would be. I don't fucking know. Don't ask me. You act like you're fucking 21. I don't know. I haven't went to 27. How the fuck was I supposed to know? <laughs> oh hell. <no. laughs> I mean, I met people in their 30s and they still act 21. So I don't know. I guess they're I guess when you go past 21 years old, you just you're just you at that point, you know? Like, we all have our arc of being, like, a kid and then hitting 18 and being like, Oh, yeah, I'm an adult, but still, a, I still feel like a kid. And then you hit 21, you're like, I guess this is me now. And then you hit, now I'm 23 and I feel like I'm 21 still. So, I guess it just stops there. At least for me, it did. <laughs> I saw I forgot to say this earlier, but Ashley is cute. Thank you! Thank you so much! I want a lot more people to like see Ashley and and know Ashley and ask me about her because Ashley has always been a thing. What is this music? Ashley has always been a um, staple in my life. Oh my god, Ashley has been there for a long time. I act younger than I am. I probably always will. It's the tism. It's I, I don't think that's the tism, but you know, you do you, girly. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with acting younger than you actually are. I actually like that. Unless you're like one of those old folks that are like, like, you, you know that cliche of like having an old man and then he's like, Chaka bro, I'm all about the waves, dude. Like, he, <laughs> like I don't want you to be like that. <laughs> I don't want you to dress up in like, kids, like, I don't know. I, I see an image in my head, but the way I say it is probably gonna offend some people. But I don't know. But goddamn, that song's off. Uh, did you draw Ashley or was she commissioned? Oh, huh? Oh, uh, Katori. Ashley is a, um... If you look down in my about section, you'll see this blue hair girl with a, like, purple strip in her hair. That's Ashley, and Ashley has always been a staple in in my life when it comes to like making making content. What is it called? Content, content, Com content, Con creator content, creator content. When I make YouTube shit or Twitch shit, Ashley is always there, <laughs> and I I love her. I mean, you also know. Uh, Oh wait, did you draw Ashley or was she commissioned? I drew Ashley through an through an app. <laughs> I had this little like Android app that doesn't exist anymore on my old phone that I still have it on my phone, I think I should. But I do have Ashley and on her on there and I made her through that app and I was just like, okay. She's cute. I guess she's just gonna be like my channel mascot now because 
I mean, it wasn't just like right off the gate that she was my mascot. Of course, I made her and I didn't think much at, about it. And then I started doing YouTube things and I was like, hmm, I like anime. I mean, there's this picture that I have of this random blue haired girl that I made in the middle of my class when I was in school. And and I was just like, a couple of years later, now we're here and Ashley is a staple. Ashley is an android, by the way. She's not human. <laughs> And I love that about her because you wouldn't see that she her skin Yeah, she has like Regular people skin, but it I first I, I was thinking like oh should it be like a white person's skin or should it be like grayish? You know so and there was no gray option. So I just went with regular white folks skin, you know But yeah, she is a robot or an android <laughs> Huh? I was curious about that. Yeah, she she's a staple. Very much a staple. BRB, alright, take your time, gesture. Have you seen that? I've been picking up drawing. Yeah, I've noticed that you... Wait, no, I haven't. I am not seeing that you've been picking up drawing whatsoever. You've been on Call of Duty, Final Fantasy, and God knows what else. <laughs> but... Yeah, I have not seen you pick up a pencil or a Microsoft Paint. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen you pick up a Microsoft Paint at all. <laughs> uh, I love drawing, but my art is really bad. You get, you gotta go from bad to good to better to yes. You know, you got yes is what you think art is good for you, like. Until you say yes, it's good. Then you then you hit your mark right there. But you know, it's it's all about practice. Everything is about practice. Just like gaming, like you don't just pick up a controller and know the controls. You know, you gotta pick it up. You gotta know where to go. You gotta know what to do. You gotta know where the fuck a L3 and an R3 button is on the controller. Cause oh my god, I didn't know where the fuck that was when I was young. <laughs> I remember that exact moment. It said press air, press R3 to do this and I was like looking at my controller looking back looking doing all that shit <laughs> Cuz it doesn't show it. It's so weird and I love that and it's still a staple in my brain that it's just like where the fuck is the R3 button? <laughs> but yeah, you just gotta you just gotta get up there, you know, you gotta keep going and you'll you'll do it You'll do big things. You'll do big things. I've done two art streams and I've posted some of them in the private discord. Interesting. Okay, I might look at that. Um, I will, well, I will look at that um, whenever I stop streaming because I'm actually curious about your art. style and art, even if you think it's bad. <laughs> I attempted to draw necro, neko art at a viewer's request. It went well. It went. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you, you gotta you gotta start somewhere, you know. And I'm glad that you're trying out art because art is everywhere nowadays. Like this avatar I'm wearing is art. This whole room is art. Like everything is art based nowadays, and I love it. I love art so much. <laughs> And that's why I like Elden Ring so much because it's no, it doesn't matter where you look in Elden Ring, it's always like art and it's so cute and, and well not cute but it's like very mesmerizing. That's why I like Elden Ring so much too. And that's why I could play it for so long because the scenery was so nice. You give me Dark Souls 1 and the scenery, I can play it. Dark Souls 2, couldn't do it. That's why I could play Bloodborne. Oh, that's why I could play Bloodborne. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. I need scenery in order to play these games. <laughs> that's why I like Monster Hunter too. Uh, let's see. When I was younger, I didn't even know what the R... R L one <laughs> was. I was, d I was a dumb kid. I mean... I can't blame you. You were a kid. I can't blame you. We all experience things differently. If it wasn't for me, wait a minute. I'll DM them to you. Okay, definitely. Definitely do that, darling, because I'm very excited to see your artwork. But yeah, I don't blame you for that. The first time I ever picked up like a, a game console was at school. I'm not counting computers at all. I'm, I'm talking about like actual game consoles. like. 
My first console was a PS1, technically, I think. I don't know if it was a PS1 or a Nintendo 64, but it was one of those things. Because the Nintendo 64 was at my cousin's house, and I played the fuck out of it. And the PlayStation 1 was in school, and it had, like, educational games on it. And it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool, and I loved it. I wish they would still do shit like that, but they don't. And it's like, damn, missed opportunity. <laughs> they don't make ed educational games for consoles no more, as far as I know. But if they do, then that's pretty fucking cool still. <laughs> Everybody would be a game. <laughs> I'm still very new, but I still like... But I feel like it's going well. I've been watching art streamer friends, and I've been intaking information on how to improve. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You're doing a good thing. You're doing a good thing by doing that. And I'm very proud of you because most people don't even do like their research or anything like that. They just kind of go with it. I mean, yeah, you can do that too, but I do like the way that you're doing it as well. I like that. I like that a lot. My brother got me into gaming when I was just a toddler, but I had to learn the controls sooner than later. <laughs> Completely understandable. I understand. <laughs> one time I, uh, one time in STEM class in elementary school, they brought a hacking flying sim into class and it was so cool. Aw, that's nice. Well, that's a very wholesome memory to have. I wish I remembered the- I know if I saw the game today, I know it would be that game. Because I don't- I don't remember much of that game that I played when I was in elementary school. But, oh man, if I saw it today, I would know. I pro I'm probably gonna do some research on that. I'm gonna put that in my notes so I can actually research that. I'm gonna fall. I didn't fall. <laughs> I need to drink some water too. Let me, uh, edu- How the fuck do you spell education? Educate- Ed- Educational- I say ed- It's like edge Educational? Why do people- Why do I say that? Educational. That's so stupid. Hold on. Educational games on PS1. Just to- Just to see. Let me drink some water real quick, too. Holy shit. I'm gonna come. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that water tastes so fucking good. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my goodness, that water water makes you wanna makes you wanna do something, you know what I mean? <laughs> the most important let me see. The most important thing is to practice, but also learning tips and tricks makes the practice easier. BRB. Alright, take your time. And yeah, that is very true. That is very true. <laughs> but, yeah, drawing is a is a bit of a curve. I, I did draw before I started gaming. When I started gaming, like, hardcore like I do now, like, I, I had a good middle ground. I had art and I had gaming. And those would like separate themselves. Nowadays it's just straight up gaming. Because I can't do both now. <laughs> oh, one took over the other. But yeah. I, I used to have a good middle ground with those two. And I used to do art in class. And I used to go home and do a little bit of art. And also game. And I do have some old pictures that I have. But I they're in, my, they're in the closet over there. If y'all ever want to see like. If y'all ever want to see, like, my drawings or anything, I can post them on Twitter, or... If you're, like, a close friend that's watching me right now on stream, I can DM them to you. <laughs> so yeah, if y'all are ever curious about how I draw back in the day, then... You know, hell yeah, I'll, I'll definitely post that kind of shit. I mean, I never did any... I don't remember if I did any... Uh, cur not not cursing. That's fucking. What is it called? Tracing. I didn't know if I did any tracing over. I think I just like looked at a picture and then tried to copy it from not like really tracing over it. You know what I mean? It's 
it's very cool that I can that I could do that because I remember this one this one picture that I did that with and I was just like I'm a fucking artist <laughs> and I I think I still have it in there in my closet but besides besides um that I I really did draw a lot oh my god not now that I think about it actually but yeah art's everywhere and I really do like it if art wasn't like if if I did less gaming and did more art, I would definitely be an animator. I would definitely be an animator. I would love to be because my brain works like I can see like 3D pictures and like if you say an apple, I will think of an apple. If you think of an I'm one of those people that can see like images in their head because I know a lot of people can't do that, which is interesting to me. Like if you tell me um if you told me to think about like an igloo on a grass field with the sun being blue, I can look at that right now in my brain and just be like, yeah, that's how that looks. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I got a lot of... If, if I kept on with the drawing shit and I... I, I if I kept on with the more drawing side of things and not the more of the gaming type of things, I would definitely be an animator for sure. Cause my brain runs so many things. <laughs> like usually if I was at work or if I was at school, I would just sit there and I would just be like, man, I'm bored. Let's, let's make a series in my brain. It'd be like a whole anime series going on in my brain. And I'd be like, I'd be like this side character and I'd make one of my friends like the main character or I'd make me the main character and I'd just go out and we just do random shit like I I would like start dating people and then the people that I date would just like get her get a little bit hurt and then I just go berserk like it it just it'd be so many other shit and I I would love that and that's what really makes me work at my job for a very long period of time <laughs> because other than that i i really can't like i don't know i can't like just sit around blankly and just be very npc like you know i don't know i don't know how other people like do that though like just kind of hold on my mom's calling me <laughs> let me let me hey. are we gonna hey. Okay, hold on. Actually, uh, let me let me let me mute myself. How do I mute myself? There we go. Now, oh, fuck it. She don't want none. <laughs> she don't want none. Hold on. Wait. Okay, I thought I moved something. Did I move something? I didn't move shit. Weird. Okay. Huh. Give me that. There we go. Bam. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, that's that's very interesting. I would be an animator for sure if I kept on drawing and all that good stuff. Ooh. Speaking of animations, actually, speak. Hold on. Bam. Speaking of animations, I have been watching a lot of movies. Not movies, but like series, I guess. Series and movies? I don't know. But. <laughs> I have, Let's start with the movies first. I've been watching a lot of. What is it called? Spider Man? I don't know. It's 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 been a couple of days since I last watched it all. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Spider-Man. It was a lot of um Into the Spider-Verse and the other one which is like Beyond the Spider-Verse, I think it's called. I don't remember. But I am very much an Iron Man and a Spider-Man like fan. I've always been an Iron Man fan and then Iron Man spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Spoilers, all right, spoilers. Iron Man died. <laughs> welcome back, if you, if you, if you, if you were, welcome, hi, welcome back. 
Welcome back. <laughs> but yeah, after that happened, I've been a very much a Spider-Man fan whenever that... You know, I'm still an Iron Man fan, don't get me wrong, but... You know, I'm, I'm kind of both. I'm kind of both. I like them both. And I think it's more of them being like... I don't know what it is. Iron Man's very smart, and Spider-Man is very smart, too. I guess that's what it is. I like smart heroes that can think through their problems instead of like the Hulk that just does, like, he just smashes through shit, you know? And it's, it's bad for everybody. And then there's, like... Yeah, there's Hawkeye, but I don't know much about Hawkeye. <laughs> and plus, he doesn't have a lot of, like... He doesn't have a lot of people knowing who the fuck he is. But... Uh... Iron Man and Spider-Man, they're my shit. And I like them a lot. Other than that... Other than that... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any other superheroes that I would like. Uh, I got the powers of Batman and the money of Spider-Man. <laughs> that is insane. How dare you spoil that five-year-old movie? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like an old movie. Was it Avengers Endgame, I think it was called? It was like Avengers something else, and then it turned into Avengers Endgame. There was two parts of that movie. Well, technically, there's a whole series leading up to that one movie, but it, it was a, it was a pretty good movie. I I, I personally liked it. <laughs> I love Hawkeye. Oh, nice. I'm glad you do, cause I don't know shit about him. <laughs> the Hulk, when the Hulk when write it, written well, is exploring more of the emotional aspect of being a superhero. Yeah, I see that they're getting more into like his emotional self because I see like he wears glasses now and he's like talking to She-Hulk now and I like I like that too, but I also like it when he's like when he gets mad, he gets strong and then he gets madder, he gets stronger and he gets the more mad he gets, he just doesn't die. Like there was one where he like had like red veins and then he turned red, I think? Or that was a different Hulk? I don't know. But I, I like it the more he gets mad, the more powerful he gets. I like those comments. I think those were comics. I think they made a movie about it once, but I'm not sure. But I, li I, I like the Hulk when he gets angrier, he gets stronger. I don't know, that's just me. <laughs> Hawkeye is probably my favorite Avenger. Oh, really? Interesting. You call him an Avenger? I guess he is an Avenger, huh? I never thought about that. Endgame is right, yeah. Huh. Do we see him in Endgame? I don't remember. Mm, I don't. I don't remember, man. <laughs> he was part of the OG Avengers. He's the black guy, ain't he? <laughs> He's the one with the metal wings, right? He's the one with the metal wings. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Wait, what? He's not? Who is that? Is that... Is that Hawkeye? That's not Hawkeye, the one with the metal wings. The black guy. <laughs> Am I thinking of the green one? Wait, is it the green one or... Hawk yeah, he has a bow and arrow too, don't he? That's... That's Falcon. Oh, Falcon. Is okay, I'm thinking of Falcon. Uh... Oh, then who the hell is Hawk? <laughs> what does his outfit look like? Cause I don't remember. Hawkeye is the bowman. Yeah, I know somebody. Wait, no. When you say bow, all I see is a guy with a green hoodie and like a Robin mask. I think that's Robin Hood. I'm thinking of. I don't know. But I don't. Man, I really don't remember Hawkeye. I thought that was Falcon that I was thinking of. Shit. That's Green Arrow. Oops. <laughs> See, I don't. I'm, I'm biased when it comes to Spider-Man and Iron Man because I did so much research on those two. I did do a bit of Superman too, but not a lot, and the Hulk as well. But those are the only four I really did research on. <laughs> That's DC, not Marvel. Oops. <laughs> I'm getting all my superheroes mixed up. Let's go. <laughs> Also, more random stuff, but my purple hair dye has finally 
washed out. Oh, nice. After months, and now I'm a diet pink. Hey, I made a lot of hair uh, through, so I'm gonna need help. Oh, I hope you get the help that you can get because dyeing hair is a, it's a it's a temporary task, you know. But it's a it's a very long task. I heard. <laughs> Like at some point I was thinking of making my hair like a darkish purple, like not to the point that you can see that it's purple, but enough to, if you look close enough that you can tell that it's purple. But I like my hair now and I don't want to dye it, so. <laughs> I'm glad there's still people out there that want to dye their hair, it's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I was very, it was very thick hair and goes to my tailbone oh my god so dying it it's very hard yeah you're going through it baby <laughs> you're going through it <laughs> hello fort Wilder. how you doing welcome back to the stream i remember you how you doing <laughs> but we're just talking about hair dyes and our favorite marvel characters and i get i get, i got a couple of people wrong but you know it'd be like that doing fine i'm glad to hear that i'm very glad to hear that Oh shit. Eh, my cord keeps getting unraveled. <laughs> but yeah, um uh, who the fuck wait, okay, so it was Hawkeye. Okay, let me let me look up Hawkeye. Which you like, Marvel or DC? Ooh, that's a good fucking question actually. Hold on, let me look up what Hawkeye looks like real quick, because I cannot put a face to that name at all. Let's see, Hawkeye. Oh, that motherfucker! Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna bash on your your favorite real quick. I'm gonna bash on him real quick, Katari. All right, I'm gonna bash on him. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry, <laughs> but he looks so generic. He's he he's not really that memorable. I mean, I I'm sorry. I love you, but. Uh, I love you, Katari. I love you. Hawkeye, in my opinion, I like that he's purple. I do like that he's purple. Purple is my favorite color. I need to know what the fuck he does. What does he do? <laughs> Maybe I'll change my opinion once I do more research on him, but he just looks like a generic guy. I mean, Iron Man's sexy. Spider-Man's cute. Uh, Miles Morales is... He's... He's, he's cute. He's alright. He's cute. Uh, the Hulk. Smash! Uh, <laughs> uh, who did I say? Green... Green whoever? Green Arrow. Pretty cute. He's a pretty good guy. I remember what he looks like. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, which do you like? Marvel or DC? I... When I was... Wait... When I was younger, I was more around the DC type of things, but nowadays that I'm older, I, I'm more around the Marvel type of things. So I do, I can, ma I can make this decision. I can. Like, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> I like the Marvel side of things better. I do. I personally love Marvel things more, more than I do now, because it's... Yeah, they're cinematic, I mean, not cinematic, but they're, like, real life, and it's pretty cool that they can, like, animate all that shit and make it look cool. I like that. I, I like art. Like, you can you can do a lot of things with, like, Marvel, like, the laser beam that Iron Man does, and the Hulk smashing through the house, and you see the house, like, rumble down. Like, yeah, you can just see that in DC, but most, most DC things are, like, cartoony and... Oh no! I, I, oh no! I like real life things to be like superhero shit. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like Mortal Kombat, for example. It's a bad example because I like Mortal Kombat, so I'm gonna shut up. I don't know. <laughs> I said my piece. <laughs> but yeah, I do like Marvel more. Uh, let's see, Green Arrow, Green Arrow versus Hawkeye. I don't know much about them to make that opinion, but I don't know. If I were to say, I know more about Green Arrow than Hawkeye, and I don't know much about Green Arrow. <laughs> I don't know. I can't make that debate, honestly. I can't make that debate. I found Hawkeye hotter than Iron Man. 
the <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me look at his picture real quick. Maybe I gotta look at him. I mean, he's a he's a handsome guy. He's a handsome fellow. He definitely has baby face in my eyes. Like, if he ever told me, like, let me lay my head on your lap, then I would let him. If he, if he ever needed a hug, I would let him. Iron Man, I would let him fuck the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know. That that Tony Stark is sexy as fuck to me. I just like how he looks. I love St Tony Stark. I don't even know if that's his real name or not, or if that's just his, like, Iron Man real name. I don't know his real name. I just know he's a hot fella. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> he's also my favorite because he is, he is one of two Avengers who doesn't have a superpower and doesn't use a lot of high tech sh shit. Yeah, he's kind of, I mean, if he does, I know he doesn't have any superpowers, which is pretty cool about him too. He's kind of like Batman, like he's like. Batman is rich, so he has like all these like gadgets and shit. I don't know what Hawkeye is. Is he rich or does he just like fight crime? How 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 was his startup? That's curious. Was he just like in the woods somewhere? He got like his own bow. He made his own sticks and shit, and made them in the arrows, and he just started fucking letting them go <laughs> and then somebody in the academy was like hey that guy is fucking good let's put him in the avengers <laughs> i actually want to i, I want to know how his uprising is that's pretty interesting uh cartoon hmm you haven't seen the other Aven uh, uh, dc movies i have not because <laughs> most of the dc shit i see is either through mortal kombat or cartoon <laughs> But I will definitely give it a try. I'm I never back something down. I never not try anything except drugs. But besides that, <laughs> I, I never not try something to see what that other side is like. You know, DC sometimes goes really dark. Really, is DC Batman? DC is Batman. Yeah, DC is Batman. So I can I can see that I can because they got um, Arkham Knight I think that's what it's called and that's a pretty dark game. They got Suicide Squad too. I do like I do love Suicide Squad. That is a movie that I like a lot. I do love um, damn what's his name, the shark guy. I do like the shark guy. <laughs> I like the shark guy, Harley Quinn, and I think his name is Deadshot. I don't know. Deadeye? Deadshot? I forgot his name. He's the black guy. But I do like those three characters. <laughs> Even though I don't know shit about the shark guy. I don't know shit about... Th I just know he he doesn't know much of English and he's very strong. He's kind of like the Hulk in a way, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't, I, don't know, I don't know much about him. I don't know if he can run through walls and all that good shit, but... I, I think he's I think he's pretty he's cute he's very cute he's dumb he's a dumb criminal and I love him. <laughs> uh, let's see the only DC movies I like is Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey. That reminds me of a scary movie called like it was related Silent. It had Silent. Think think with me for a second. Think with me for a second. We're gonna go back to what you said, but think with me for a second. There is this scary movie and it revolved around birds. And you they had to be quiet, because if they weren't quiet, then a random monster would come out of nowhere and just fuck them up. What was it called? Was it called Silent? Was it called The Quiet Place? Bird Mock? It was something like that. I think it had something to do with a bird. It was either called The Quiet Place? It was probably The Qu BIRD BOX! BIRD BOX! That's what it was called. It was called fucking Bird Box. Oh my god. I love I love movies like that. Like, like, there's not a lot of movies like Bird Box. Like, of course they got The Quiet Place. I love The Quiet Place. I love The Quiet Place. I love it. I never heard of Bird Mike, though. That's an interesting one. I have never heard of that one. But Bird Box is one is the one where they can look at the killer. 
Oh, oh no, no, they had the blindfolds over their faces. Yeah, they had the blindfolds over their faces. That's the one I like too. I love it when they take, I love when a scary movie takes something that all humans usually use and they can't use that thing or else they die. I love that, like, like using your voice every day. That's an everyday thing most people use. Taking your eyesight, that's a thing most people use. What a... What about like, mm, what would what would another movie be? What what would another take be? I guess like you have to like hop on one leg. I don't know. I'm not a good movie. <laughs> I'm not a good movie director at all. I don't know. What would like? I don't know. I like I like movies like that. Like oh yeah, take away your sight. Oh take away your voice. Now you gotta live this way. I love movies like that. I don't know. It's just something about them that just makes me so hype. And I don't like scary movies. I don't like scary movies. I get scared. Well, I used to get scared. I don't get scared anymore unless I just haven't found the right thing to scare me. I mean, I'm saying that now. But two days ago, I watched a YouTube video and it scared the. It, it scared me because I was somebody playing a game and it jump scared. It, it, it kind of made me go back a little bit, but it, it didn't make me like jump. I don't understand people that like jump out of their seats when they see something scary. I I haven't, if y'all know a good scary game, maybe I'll stream it. I don't know. Because I, I don't know what scary is like anymore. I just don't know. I, I Usually back in my day, back in the day... Hmm, what was the last scary thing that I saw? The last scary movie that really made me scared? What was it called? It was a Ke it was a Keith Peel movie. What was it called? The Sunken No, it wasn't that. It wasn't it wasn't that. It was It was like there was two there was a real person and then there was a fake person of you. And then that fake person of you tried to kill you. Damn, what's it called? Fuck. Oh, I want to look it up. Damn. I gotta look it up. Hold on. Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna be AFK, but I'm gonna still be here. Hold on. Uh, Jordan Peele? Is it Jordan Peele? Jordan. How do you spell jo Jordan? Peele movies? Us! Us! It was called Us. Okay, 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 go back. It was called Us. So, Us scared me, because it was, it, it was more of a psychological horror to me. That's the thing that fucks me up, alright? Psychological horror. I don't know what was in that movie, but I think it was psychological horror, but whatever the fuck was in the movie called Us, I was in the movie theater with my girl, with my ex-girlfriend, and and her sister. We came out the movie. I was shaking, and I never shook when it was when it come down the scary shit. I never shook. We went to De what was it called? We went to Denny's, and I was I was trying to catch my breath. I don't know. I I, I would never react that way when it comes to that when it comes to scary movies. But us. Something about those eyes, about that fake smile. I can't do it. Us is just too too much for me. Us is too much for me, me personally, and I can't I can't do it. <laughs> uh, let me see. Alfred Hitchcock, The Birds is a pretty good scary movie. Scary bird movie. Interesting. Probably gotta look that up later. That is interesting. Let's say the least. <laughs> Oh, also, I, I was in another small streamer's chat, and I was telling him how I turned your Kirby stream into just the chatting, and he seemed both surprised and unsurprised. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, uh, I don't know. If you know a good scary game, tell me. I mean, not a good scary game, yeah, tell me. If you know a good scary movie. I probably don't want to know about it because us pretty fucked me, fucked me up pretty good. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, speaking of t speaking of that of what you just said, Ella, El Ella. Sorry, <laughs> I have to double check on your name. Uh, I I am just gonna be a talkative streamer. I'm gonna talk a lot. I mean, yeah, I'm still gonna play like. 
It's gonna be rare moments where I play games like Super Mario Wonder or any game that requires you to just sit down and admire it. Kind of like Call of Duty, Kirby, Mario. I'm I'm not gonna be that kind of like. I'm not gonna be that kind of streamer. Not I'm not gonna say any more because of course it's gonna happen eventually. It's just gonna be rare, like very rare when that happens. But I'm gonna be a talkative streamer. I'm not a variety streamer anymore. I mean technically kinda, but I'm gonna lean more to the to the chatting side of things, you know? Like I'm gonna be talking. So what I'm gonna be doing from now on. I'm gonna be in VR chat more, and I'm gonna be in just chatting more. And those are the two main things that I'm gonna be in a lot, like a lot, a lot. And the reason for that is, well, I need some form of consistency. <laughs> well, not not all the time, but sometimes, like, I'm, it's more algorithm based than anything, because if, if, one person sees you talking on VR chat, they come back to you and you're playing Dark Souls and you're yeah, you're still talking, but I guess they didn't come over with I mean, I want people to come here for me in general, like just for me talking, because I like to talk. <laughs> but yeah, girl, I was just waiting for me to start following wait. Girl was just waiting for me to start following her so she can quit Kirby. <laughs> Oh my god, no! <laughs> no, 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 no! I, I, look, look, look. I like talking a lot. I just like talking, and... And it's, 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 it's just something that I like to do. I haven't done it in years, and I, I finally got the opportunity to, and I love to talk. <laughs> Had to wait for the ex extrovert to join the ch <laughs> It'd be like that. We we like our extroverts out here. We got like our introverts and our extroverts. Cause I am, I'm an extrovert, but an but I'm introverted. You know what I mean? <laughs> I I'm an outgoing person, but I like to s stay in the house. Does that make sense? The power of the headset is is unbelievable. <laughs> the power of VR is is immaculate, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, I I'm gonna be talking more and and maybe eventually if I if I get like if if I get up there in popularity or or whatever you call it, fame, popularity, knowing this person, then. Yeah, I'm a dabble in some other like, like games and stuff like that, but not as intense, you know. I guess streaming for me is more like a, it's more like a gateway to start talking. Because yeah, I got good friends that'll just hear me out and talk. Yeah, I can just sit here and talk to myself. <laughs> but when I can talk to uh, the world. An audience it feels it feels good it feels backwards to my life you know well you don't know but <laughs> during my entire life I've always been quiet I've always been the quiet kid in class because most people would tell me like I would start talking and then they tell me to shut up or I would I I guess that'd be the main reason and I also had depression so that kind of like told me they, they, they the depression was kind of like, oh yeah, be quiet. Nobody wants to hear you talk. But now that my depression has gone down and, and I feel better, I have this opportunity that I can talk to a lot of people. And I'm very grateful that I can because I, I like speaking my mind. I like having my own opinions. I like to see other people's opinions. It's very fun and I love it. It's very, very fun. <laughs> That's why I like streaming so much. <laughs> but uh yeah. <laughs> that's 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 one That's a daily life of a wolfie. <laughs> mm. That's what Wolfie's all about. Oh <laughs> Thank you. 
Mm. Speaking of which, I got a, another thing coming to the YouTube channel. So, if you don't know, I will be, um, I will be, the fuck, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, right, uh, uh, YouTube, damn, I lost my train of thought again, what the fuck? I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember, oh no, it's all bad, <laughs> YouTube, oh right, okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, so, on YouTube, I will be, th these kind of streams, these kind of streams right here, I will be editing them and making, I'll be editing my streams onto my main channel, it's gonna be two edited streams a month. Because it gives me a lot of time to like do shorts, it gives me a lot of time to do... I guess these are my new regular videos, if I would say that. So I guess I don't have to make regular videos anymore. I don't know. But, <laughs> I'm still make more videos about like me and my friends hanging out instead of it just being streaming, you know? Like of course I'm gonna be like saving fun the funny moments of me and my friends hanging out and having a good old time <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be a lot of edited streams there and raw footage raw, raw just stream footage is gonna be on my VOD channel and uh, I'm honestly kind of excited to do this I got this idea from a youtuber that I honestly watch a lot <laughs> his name is Doug 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 is D O U G D O U G Doug Doug and I watch his shit a lot and if I watch his shit a lot a lot of other people watch his shit a lot so if I start like doing I'm not gonna edit like him I'm still gonna have my own like flair to it I'm gonna have my own like streaming flair to it but the way his schedule is like set up, I love it. I love his schedule. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back. Nice to see you here. Welcome back. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be my new thing that I'm gonna be doing for my YouTube channel. Because, oh, speaking of that, if you don't know, I made a video yesterday, or today. I made a video today. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> I made a video today on my Twitter Discord. I didn't post it on Discord yet. Oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna do that later. Hold on. Oh God, I didn't post it on, I didn't post it on Discord yet. I'll post it on Discord whenever the, the stream is over. <laughs> Hold on, I, I'm gonna put that down on my phone real quick so I can remember. Uh, post video to Discord. There we go. But yeah, uh, I posted a new video on my on my um, Twitter or X, whatever. Uh, I posted one on my. YouTube channels, both of them, my VOD and my, um, and my main channel, The Wolf System. And I also did one on TikTok. I did one on TikTok too. And yeah, it pretty much goes the, s the same way with all of them. They're not different or anything. Except the TikTok one because, you know, it has to be like, you have to look at it through your phone and all that. But I I was just trying to get my name out there. It was it's more of a video for I can put my name out there. Like yeah, I got I got a YouTube channel, I got a TikTok, I got a Twitter, and I got a Twitch that I stream on. And I just wanted to like I really wanted to like um let my name be known, you know? And it's very hard to do that, especially when I'm doing it by myself. I mean, yeah, Katori said she's gonna help me, and she still is. But I'm- that doesn't mean that I'm not any more nervous than I am now, you know? <laughs> it's just- it's- it's interesting, because I have had a lot of sponsors come through, too. <laughs> yeah. 
I did have a lot of sponsors come through too, like um, Braid Shadow Legends and some other games that I don't know that I remember the name of. But I, I was really excited to do them, but at the same time I was very scared. Like if, if I were to do them through YouTube, I would be more brave to do it because I, I would, you know, have it all edited and stuff. But I don't know how to put the, I don't know how to put like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like yeah, I know they tell you what to do and all that, but I'm still nervous if I fuck something up and I don't know. But <laughs> other than that. I'm just kind of nervous because it's all new to me, like getting sponsored by a company that's way bigger than me, and I don't know, it's just kind of nerve, I'm just kind of nerve wracking. I didn't, like, I was always excited, like, oh shit, I'm gonna get promoted, I'm gonna get promoted, let's go, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do all this, I'm gonna do that, and then when it comes down to it, I'm just like, fuck, I'm scared. <laughs> like, even that video that I made today, it was very hard to do because I did it with a script, and me being dyslexic, plus a script, doesn't go well, so I was just sitting there, I did like 16 takes, through, all combined, through, uh, my, um, my stream, no, let me, let me start over, I tried to do 16 takes, of the video that I posted today, and it, it it took so long because, like I said, it took 16 takes, and I finally got it, and I was just sitting there like, oh my god, finally! <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, I got it, and you just never give up, never give up. <laughs> just don't give up in what you want to do, you know. <clears> oh, <throat> holy shit! But yeah, I still highly recommend raiding out to someone. If you don't have anyone, I can always grab someone for you. I'm back and I have snacks. Let's go, peanut butter and jelly. Let's go. Well, peanut butter. Oh, celery and peanut butter. Ooh, I forgot about that combination. Oh, man. But yeah, I will definitely raid us for today. I will raid this. I will... What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I will raid for sure today because I have not raided in a minute actually so I'll definitely raid um let's see uh oh the, the celery peanut butter thing I need to start doing that too because I haven't done that in a minute like I have the raisins I have the peanut butter but I don't have the celery <laughs> maybe I can put it I can substitute it as bread I'm gonna do that today holy shit I'm gonna do that today <laughs> Holy shit, we got a lot of peanut butter. And I got some raisins that I've just been eating out of this tiny ass little box. You can't hear it because they're all stuck together because raisins are weird. But yeah, <laughs> I'll definitely be doing that today. I'm going to put that on my phone so I won't forget because if I forget, I'm going to be real mad. <laughs> Alright, so raisins and peanut butter, peanut butter, and bread. Let's go. <laughs> Who knows? It might, it might be fucking delicious. You never know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what's a raid? I'm still slightly new to Twitch. A raid is where I can... Like when I'm done with the stream, like I say, oh, bye. like if I'm done with the stream, I can go to somebody else's stream and send y'all over to their stream. So y'all won't have to like do all the hustle of looking for a new streamer, you know? <laughs> ah, cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I love it. I used to do it a lot back in the day before I even met Katori, but that I, I kind of stopped for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm gonna do it today. Today, today it ends here. It ends here. <laughs> but yeah, hey, Wolfie, you're adorable. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I love you too. Wolfie is adorable. I'm a hurt. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brat. I'm a brat up. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm also, <laughs> it's also a good way to support other streamers and put your name out there. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
If you can't tell, there's a little bit of blush on her face. I'm going to hurt you. I will. I'm, 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 go <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. Respectfully, of course. <laughs> You're adorable. You shall not deny it. Hey, you don't talk to me like that. Who do you think you are, huh? Who do you, th who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> Wolfie is adorable. Katori, I swear to god. <laughs> Look, y'all keep calling me cute and shit. I'm gonna have to bust it down on stream. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> y'all are making me blush, I guess. I don't know. I'm not admitting to it. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Which one? Which god do you swear to? <laughs> I swear to... I, I swear to Buddha Jesus Lord Christ. I swear. <laughs> uh, speaking of religions, I am Christian, but I believe there is just a higher power in general. He could be named Jesus. He could be named Buddha. He could be a she. He could have no gender at all. I don't know. I just know there's a higher power out there. That, that's that's my opinion on it. If you're an atheist, you do you. If you believe in a higher power, you do you too. But in my opinion, I just think there's somebody out there looking. And I don't know. Maybe we're like demigods. I don't know. Maybe we're just here from another world. And we're here to just chill and relax. But no. The government wants us to do taxes. Anyways, I think too much. That's my, that's my brain. <laughs> I'm a very theorist kind of person. <laughs> I like theorizing a lot. Uh, that's Ognatic Dork. I don't even know how to say that. Ognostic. Ognostic. Ognostic? Agnostic. <laughs> how do you say that? Dork? <laughs> don't call me a fucking dork. <laughs> I've never been called a dork before. I don't think. That is insane. You call me a dork. <laughs> BRB grabbing water because my room is boiling. Understandable. Take your time. I, I am agonist, but I don't mind religion at all. If you're a nice person, you can worship a helicopter for all I care. <laughs> exactly. I guess. Am I agonist? I'm agonist then. If I just believe there's a higher power out there, I'm agonist. It feels weird, <laughs> cause if I am Agonist, then it feels it feels weird not being Christian. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I'm scratching my knuckle right now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in new territory. I guess <laughs> I guess I gotta think about that on my own time. But I'm not gonna like freak out and be just like depressed or anything like that. I'm just like thinking about it. Agonist is basically you don't believe or not believe. You believe there is no way to disprove or prove. I guess... I guess I am? I guess? I don't know? Like I believe there is a person out there. I do believe. There is somebody, but I also believe that we are something great as well. You know what I mean? Like, I I don't believe that I don't believe that there's nobody out there. I do believe that there is somebody out there, but I also believe that we are also gods or something like that, you know? Do I know? Y'all got me thinking. <laughs> Y'all got me out here thinking about religion out here on my stream. Hmm. Maybe I don't kind of believe because I think we're gods too. So maybe. But how do we go next to to the next world? Do we just go there, or does somebody bring us? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I. Maybe I am Nogginist, <laughs> wherever you say that word. <laughs> Holy shit, I might be. <laughs> that was too much info for Wolfie. Now she's having a stroke. <laughs> I'm having a, I'm having a strong. 
It is all bad. <laughs> oh, y'all got me thinking out here. Maybe I am that. I don't know. I gotta think more about that. I probably am. Shit. I mean, I'm not. I'm not against it. I'm definitely not against it. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, shit. I just learned something new. Shit. I am. I like learning new things about all of this because it makes my makes my brain tingle. <laughs> But speaking of that, making my brain tingle, mmm, the celery and peanut butter, delicious. Ah, oh, it's hidden different, ain't it? <laughs> it's hidden different. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try out that in the, like, whenever I can, like, get some food money on me. But until then, I'm, I'm, I'm a dream about being in your position right now with the celery and the peanut butter. I can't forget the raisins though. I can't forget those delicious raisins, baby girl. Mmm! Goddamn raisins are good by themselves. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh yeah, I love learning about religions, especially Islam, because my best friend is Muslim. And ever since I lean red that I've been been interested in researching. Interesting, okay. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. I guess I do like learning about like other religions as well because it makes my brain think, you know? It, like, everything that happens into this world, no matter that being religions, video games, or food, I guess, it always makes my theorist brain chug. Cause there, there, there has to be something more to this, or there has to be something less to this, or what is going on, you know? I like thinking. I, I, that makes me an overthinker, and I am an overthinker. I like overthinking. <laughs> I mean, I don't like overthinking when it comes to a negative standpoint, but I love overthinking when it comes to a positive standpoint, you know? Oh yeah, I should get some raisins. Okay, now I have raisins. You got the whole package! You got the- oh my god, my voice. <laughs> You got the whole package right now. You got celery, you got peanut butter, and you got raisins. You got a whole ants on the log on you right now. <laughs> you got ants on a motherfucking log, and I am so jealous. <laughs> I'm gonna have ants on a on a plank, I guess. Is that what you call peanut butter? Peanut butter, raisins, and bread. <laughs> ants on a plank. <laughs> <laughs> I just made up a new food group. Let's go. <laughs> Bless not having a Bless is not having a peanut butter allergy. Yeah. Yeah, bless up. Honestly, I I am I'm very happy that I don't have a peanut butter allergy as well. As something as someone allergic to red number 40, I'm jealous of peanut butter allergy people. What is red number 40? What the hell is that? But I'm jealous of people, but I'm jealous of peanut allergy people. Why are you jealous of peanut allergy people? What? I've never been, I never met somebody that's been jealous about somebody having a, having a a debuff? I guess? I don't know the word. I can't think of it right now. Of having a... Of having an allergy. <laughs> Should have probably just used allergy, huh? <laughs> Instead of going to the video game route and saying that it's a debuff. <laughs> Red number 40 is a food dye linked to ADHD and such. Also called... Al Alra Red. I love the word Alra. That is a beautiful name, actually, for a for a allergic reaction. That is adorable. It's in a lot of things, and I'm I'm extremely allergic. Uh, I am extremely allergic to it. Sorry, my throat is fucking giving out on me. Hold on, let me drink some more water. Alright. <clears throat> Died. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, 
Um, I'm sorry that you're allergic to that. That is a very specific thing to be allergic to. I wonder if I'm allergic to anything. I used to be like, I used, I used to think I was allergic to mosquitoes, but now that I know that other people have bumps on their arms when they get bit by a mosquito, it doesn't really affect me as much. Like, yeah, my bumps usually are bigger than like the normal person. Like, instead of their bumps being like this, instead of your normal bumps being like this big, my bumps used to be like that big. Like, usually the normal is like, let me see if I can get it on stream. Normal is like that, or normal is like that right there. Mine used to be that, and then. Now it kind of just, I mean, I haven't, I haven't gotten bit by a mosquito recently, but like, I guess like two, three years ago, I got bit by a mosquito and it was, it was kind of in the middle of like, not too big and not, not normal, but it was like going down. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or anything, but I could still be allergic to it. I don't know. I'm not like seizing or anything like that when it happens, or I don't need to take any like medication when it happens either. But it does get, pr I do get pretty huge bumps for some reason. It is a very rare allergy too, so like it's not like a peanut butter allergy where there's alternatives really because people just don't know about it. Yeah, I mean I, when you said red number 14, did you do one of those like, one of those like, where the doctor would come in and then he like do does like a little strip like on your arm or back or something and then he'd like peel it off and then see if you're allergic to it because i think i think i've heard of it before if that's the case i have returned welcome back jester welcome back we are talking about allergies and what allergies we have nope oh interesting okay then i might be thinking of something else then we have to learn about my allergies through a lot of trial and error. There are no tests for dye allergy. Dye allergies, I guess so. That's interesting. That is very rare. Huh. I mean, I'm sorry that you have that, but also congratulations on the rarity concept, but I'm more sorry than I am congratulating you, you know? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're just talking about allergies right now, Jester. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> but yeah, I, like I said, I don't get very, I don't, I don't know. I could be allergic to something and not know it. I could be like one of those, I could be allergic, highly allergic to something. And then, like, I've never tasted it before. Like, I could be allergic to a certain fish. I did eat sushi before and that shit was gross, but I could be like allergic to a certain fish and then it, it all goes belly up. I don't know. I don't, I don't think we, I don't think humans, this is, this is me. This is personal. I think every human has an allergic reaction to something out there. Something. It has to be something. I don't think any human just doesn't have like any allergic reaction to anything. Like, if, if that is the case, then that is pretty, I think of that as pretty rare. I think of that as a pretty rare human being. I mean, I'm not going to praise you about it or anything, but that's just pretty rare. That's just pretty, I think, I think personally that's pretty 10, 10 out of a hundred percent, you know, chance, you know, but, uh, let's see. <laughs> I think it's pretty interesting and all. It's actually helping me a lot. Sure, it sucks, but it taught me to learn. It taught me to, it taught me to learn how to make my own baked goods and dye. Damn, I know what dye you're talking about, but the way I stopped right there. <laughs> make your own goods and dye. My own. Oh, dye your own frostings with natural ingredients I have lying around. No, yeah, that's good. I'm I'm glad because that's that's actually pretty cool. I like that about you. I like that. That's pretty amazing. I'm eating artichoke hearts, so I just 
I'm just along for the ride. Artichoke heart. What the fuck is an artichoke heart? That sounds like some shit you'll find in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> taught me how to. Taught me how to. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 20. <laughs> Got the whole date up there and everything. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back, Katori. Let's go. Welcome back to the stream. I just stepped on something really sharp. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it's gone now, whatever it is. It felt very sharp, but it wasn't like... It wasn't like bleeding type of sharp, you know? I should have worn socks. I I made the bad idea of taking off my socks while I sleep. Personally, I don't. I can't take off my socks when I sleep. I like I like having warm feet. I like having warm feet. Most people don't. Most people do. I'm one of the people that like having warm feet. I like having my socks on when I fall asleep. And last night I took them off because it was just. It was getting hot in my room, and no, I couldn't touch the, I couldn't touch the thermostat, SpongeBob. So I was just sitting there in the heat with my socks off, <laughs> and I haven't put them back on since because I I've been editing all day today, and then I had to, I, now I'm streaming, but I also like played a bit of Call of Duty, a lot of Call of Duty. I have Modern Warfare Three now. And I've been playing the shit out of that. I fucking love zombies, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been a bit busy this morning. Z the zombies part, I love PvE. We already talked about this. I love PvE. I'm just gonna say, leave it at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Stop repeating myself. Mmm, PV PvE is my shit. I'm just saying. I finished the submit. Hmm? Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> I finished a sub. You finished a submission, not a submissive. All right, for for an art con con con. I DM'd it to you. Oh, okay, nice. I will definitely look at that whenever I get off streaming. I like having warm feet, hence why I own a lot of fluffy socks and knee socks. Oh, I have some fluffy socks too. Fluffy socks are... N I, I can't wear fluffy socks with shoes. I used to, but I just can't do it no more. I only wear them if I'm in my room. And I gotta switch out socks, which is tedious as fuck. But what are you gonna do? They're fluffy socks. They're big as fuck, and they take up so much room in your shoes. At least in my experience with fluffy socks. Uh, but I could never sleep with them. Oh, really? Interesting. I could sleep with fluffy socks on. Hang on, I'm gonna go brag about my celery and peanut butter <laughs> to my peanut butter allergy friends. That is fucked up, but go do you, girl. <laughs> you tell them what it is. Fucking hell. <laughs> I struggle to sleep with clothes on. Really? Oh, I forgot there were people like that out there. Holy shit. Okay. So, my opinion on that. I can do both. I can sleep naked and I can sleep with clothes on. I prefer to sleep with clothes on. That is something that I've been doing ever since I was young. I love sleeping with clothes on. If I can sleep naked, I'm definitely sleeping naked by a partner because sleeping naked by myself, it's just, it's just, I don't see a use in it in, for me. But if I'm sleeping naked with a partner, I'm just saying, all right? Anyways, <laughs> I love to sleep with clothes on. And, I don't know, sleep, I, if I sleep naked by myself, I'm just thinking about all the, all the, like, like, I have to clean my sheet in the morning, and I have to clean, clean my, clean my, like, um, what's it called? I have to clean my covers as well, and, and what if I fart in my sleep? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like I said, I'm an overthinker, and when it comes to that, I just be thinking, "Oh shit, my coochie is like rubbing up against my sh my sheets and shit." Let me go fucking clean my shit every single day that I get out of the fucking bed instead of every once a week, like I like I usually do. But I just don't ayo me. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I do. I don't, uh, that's that's how I think at least, I, I mean shit, that's just how it is. 
I mean, we all think of it differently. We all think of different, different shit, all right? And that's what I like. That's why I like talking to y'all, because we all have our own way of doing things, and I like to think... I, li I like to hear about what y'all do, too, because it's very interesting. Because it gets me thinking about what I do. The friend got offline. I can bully her now. Nah. <laughs> This, uh, this fox likes being naked as much as possible. Oh yeah, that is also another thing. Nudist. If... Alright, I am transgender. I'm transgender. I hate saying it, because I am a woman. I am woman. I hate, I hate, I hate... I hate the word transgender, I hate the word cis. I am woman, alright? That is just me. That is my opinion. I... Anyways, <laughs> anyways, felt, <laughs> felt, uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, anyway, I consider myself cis, anyways, most people hate it, I don't care, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, if I had, like, let's say, I don't care, I like being flat chested, I do have the other gender part down there and if i if i did have womanly parts down there i i would walk around more naked but i can't do that because every time i feel them bitches down there hitting the sides of my legs i want to punch it and it's very bad so that's why i don't walk around nude well, if I had the opportunity to, at least. Like, if I had my own house and I could walk around nude, I would definitely do that. I mean, the only reason why I would walk around nude in my own house, if, if a, part, a certain partner was over there and I was trying to tease them and I wanted, I wanted a little bit of something, I wanted to get down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but other than that... I, I just can't do it because I guess dysphoria or is, is that what it's called dysphoria or it's not dyslexia I mean yeah I get I'm dyslexic as fuck but I think it's dysphoria I don't know it's it's a D word <laughs> but yeah I'm glad you can walk around naked that's very that's very sexy very hot I like it I like it <laughs> I usually sleep in a nightgown because it's just comfy. What's a nightgown? I forgot what a nightgown is. Is that like, you know what a what a robe is like when you come out the shower? Is that what a nightgown is? <laughs> Cause I'm thinking like either that or or a uh pajamas, just straight up pajama. <laughs> a nightgown is like a dress, but for sleeping, really, really. Hold on, let me look this up. A nightgown. <laughs> Because now I can't put a picture to it. Let's see. A night gown. Ah! You know what? I always wanted a night gown. That's exactly the thing that I wanted. <laughs> Where's my stream? There we go. I, I want a night gown. That is exactly what I want. Like you're not, Like, you're not too naked, but you're also not too fully clothed, you know? It's like that perfect middle. So I do love a nightgown i'm not gonna lie i would love a nightgown i would like to walk around my own house with a nightgown on i'm gonna put that in my notes just for just for future times because i would fucking rock a nightgown let me see let's see get a night gown bam all right And to the people you know who you are, I will send pictures. Anyways, you know, you just reminded me of the of last night when a streamer and two of their viewers were bullying me because spit roasting me while this filmed it. It was an experience. Huh? <laughs> Let me read that one more time. <laughs> you know, you just reminded me of last night when a streamer and two of their viewers were bullying me about spit roasting me while the streamer filmed it. It was an experience. What the fuck are you going through? <laughs> what in the hell are you talking to about these streamers? <laughs> yeah, I hate being hot, so I tend to just wear shorts and dress all day. I mean, shit. 
that's that's a lifestyle I want too. All I do is just wear pajamas all day. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hit up your lifestyle. I'm a, I'm a hit up your wardrobe. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that wardrobe. <laughs> part, <laughs> part, hey yo, that winky face. Hey yo, you, if you know, you know. <laughs> part, partly nude is hot than fully nude. It's hotter than fully clothed. Yes, yes, I do. I I agree on that too. I really, really do. Let me let me talk about that real quick. I don't know what it is. When, okay, I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. When I was in my teen years, being fully naked was just the hottest thing to me. Like, oh my god, you're fully naked? Fuck. I I wanna I wanna mmm, I wanna mmm. But but now that that I'm here, nowadays, it's just more like I don't know. I don't I don't want you to be I mean I like it when you're naked. But when you have some clothes on, but it's not too much clothes. Oh, fuck! You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's just something about it that just makes me want to fall out and just makes me want to praise you and just want to do so much more than praising if you know what I mean. Makes me want to, makes me want to, yeah, yeah, you know? I'm sorry I did that. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh my god. But yeah, it's just something about it. It's just so damn sexy. I don't know what it is. Mm. Mm, it's just something about that shit. <laughs> now you got me thinking about it. <laughs> at, least, at least in my opinion. Even when I wear clothes, panties are very optional. Hey yo, honestly? Hey yo, honestly? <laughs> My wardrobe is just full of graphic tees and summer dresses and some pants and shorts. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Especially when I'm in a sundress. Hey, yo, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Swimsuits get me pretty good. I mean, yeah. It dep I, I do like swimsuits too, but it doesn't make me horny. It more of makes me feel... It, it makes me feel like you're naked, basically. Like, it's 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 nice, it's sexy, I like it. Dude, let me, let me go into the other angle, alright? So y'all can see what I mean. Do you see, do you see, wait, hold on. Let me point to him. Can I point to him? There we go. You see that little, like, that little uh, missing, you see the, the band wrapped around my leg, right? The girder, yeah. You see that? I like... It feels thicker, like a little bit thicker, like how the Egyptians usually do it, and you have on like a swimsuit. I don't know what it is about this. I don't know what it is about like people. It's more of the Egyptian clothes that really turned me on, like all the like the like I don't know. I can't I can't put one to mind right now, but I, I do like the band over the leg. I do like the bands over the arm too. It's very sexy to me and I don't know what it is. I just really love the Egyptian look. Like it really turns me on. It really does. <laughs> mm. It's like it's like it's like upgrading from from swimsuit to Egyptian wear. It's just like mm, let me praise you, mama. <laughs> it's just so good and I can't get enough of it. Mmm. Should see me wear my dress will feel mm, maybe one day, maybe if you send me something in your DMs, I mean shit <laughs> And <laughs> oh and I guess I, I have a few blouses though. But I don't really wear them because I don't really wear them. Also a few skirts. Nice. Alright, cool. <laughs> Love your wardrobe. I love I love your sense and style. I like that a lot. <laughs> but it is that time, everybody. It is about that time that we leave. All right, I have to go. I have to eat, and I probably gotta hang out with some friends today. But it has been a very nice time hanging out with everybody. Just gonna say, in a year or two, I'm gonna need a roommate. Hey yo, I mean shit. If I'm if I'm if I'm moving out in a year or two, I'm just saying, we could be great roommates. 
Oh well, have a good day, Wolfie. I'm gonna go to the film stream for a bit. All right, cool beans. Well, thank you all for coming to my stream. I really appreciate y'all coming here. Thank you for everybody who just. Mm, I I really do appreciate y'all's company and y'all being here. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And yeah, I will definitely. I will stream tomorrow. I'll try to stream tomorrow because. Oh, I do miss this. I miss this a lot. And uh, the reason I haven't been streaming this past week is because I've been editing a, a big video. And another thing is I've just been a little bit lazy, I'm not going to lie. But I, I was like, today is the day that I started back on that schedule. And that's what I did. So yeah, next time I will definitely see y'all later. I hope it's the best for everybody. I'm, I'm going to do a... Uh, what is it called? A... What the fuck is it called? Uh... <laughs> what is it called? A raid! I'm gonna try to do a raid! <laughs> but yeah... Uh, let me read y'all last comments before I actually go. Um, heed the message... Let me see... Uh, come stream... Move your channel... There we go. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me. I'm gonna read y'all's before I actually leave. First time I watched a full stream. Wow. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Wolfie, take the honor. Take the honor of being the first person I've spent the entire stream with. Oh, I sure will. I definitely will. That is gonna be in history. All right. It's gonna be in history. <laughs> I really do appreciate y'all's company. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to my stream. I really do appreciate y'all so much. But yeah, now we're gonna try to do a raid. And hopefully everything goes according to plan. <laughs> but yeah, Katori, if you have anything, if you have anybody that I could send us to, I would definitely do that. Or we, I, 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 I check them out and see. But other than that, we're gonna do a raid. I'm going to like switch myself ugh, over to my computer. Ugh. All right, put my hands over there. Put my, my body's contorting. <laughs> 